Hello friends, welcome to BISPSolutions.com. My name is Sumit and I'm subject matter expert with Salesforce Wave Analytics and CRM Solutions in BISP. Today I'm going to talk about a very interesting topic in Salesforce Wave that is called security implementation and the topic for today's video is that how we are going to apply row level security based on role hierarchy and record ownership so first of all let me tell you the business requirement so my business requirement is very simple let's suppose we have got a record and my requirement is like keith is working as a vp sale and under keith we have two more roles east sales and west sales bill is Bill's role is East Sales and the West Sales role has been assigned to Lucy. Within Lucy or under Lucy, there are two more subordinates, John and Mary. And in Bill, under Bill, there are two subordinates, Tony and Joy. So the business requirement is when Bill logged in, the Bill will be able to see his own records and all the records which are generated by his subordinates like Tony and Joy. In same manner, when Lucy logged in, he would she would be able to access the records owned by her or his subordinate her subordinates John and Mary. When Tony logged in, Tony will be able to access only his own records because there is no subordinates for Tony and Joy joy is at the same level so tony will be able to access only his records and when keith logged in he would be able to see all the records he would be able to access the records by himself or bill and his bill subordinate so that's the business requirement so to demonstrate you this requirement what i have done i have created one role within sales emea and i guess and i give this name as sales wrap and uh, we have two users so let me show you the users first actually we have couple of users but i am concentrating i'm emphasizing only on two users so the first role is for myself so and my role is sales emea and there is another role for Laura Gerza. So let me show you that as well. So for, yeah. So that's another role for Laura Gerza. And for Laura, and for Laura, the role is sales rep. And for me, the role is sales EMEA. So as per hierarchy, I can access my records because my role is sales EMEA. So I can access my record as well as I can access Laura's record because Laura's role is sales rep. And when Laura logged in, she would be able to access only his record because there is no subordinate role a subordinate roles for sales representative role. Now let's look at the records first of all. So I switch to opportunities and in opportunities, I list my opportunities. So I have only one record and for Laura Gerza, there are 41 records. So in this case, as per scenario, when I logged in, I would be able to see 41 plus my record. So total will be 42 records. When Laura logged in, she will be able to access only 41 records. She won't be able to access my record because I am she is my subordinate and I am not his her subordinate. So let's see how to implement such kind of functionality in Wave. So very quickly, I switch to Analytic Studio and we need to perform some customizations and settings so which I have already done so I already have got my JSON ready so let me upload that JSON so I switch to data flow view and uh, I upload my JSON so I'll go to edit 
upload sorry i'll switch to upload json and the, the json is uh, opportunity security so you can see that's the structure of the that's the structure of the the data flow and one more thing let me remove this security predicate first of all so that we can access all the records so update data flow continue and switch to data manager and start the process jobs view and run it so let the process finish so you can see the process has been completed successfully let's go and check the data set is created or not so i switch to data set and the data set name is ops role so when i click on ops role i can see all 708 records even though i logged in as my name still i can see all records now let's try to log in as laura so i switch to opportunities and uh, let me try to log in as laura and make sh let's see the number of records you can see so i switch to analytic studio and uh, data set ops role and can also access all 708 records so it means there is no security added here and whoever logged in they will be able to access all records so now what we need to do we will be going to apply a security predicate so let me log in again as myself because i have got administrative rights just a second that's my username and that's my password so i logged in now we need to apply a security over there so i switch to analytic studio and uh, i switch to data set ops role edit and here i'm going to write a predicate and the security predicate is the security predicate is we are going to restrict so for this i write owner dot role dot roles equal equal double quotes dollar user dot user role id double quotes or condition so that i can access own record so owner id equal equal double sorry uh, sorry by mistake i cancel it it should be in a proper form so that's the predicate owners owner dot role dot roles equal to dollar user dot user role id owner id is equal to dollar user id so that's the predicate so let me refresh the data set and let me test again so i just click on data set ops role and you can see i can access only 42 records and why this is so when i switch to owner name so you can see one record from my, my uh, one is mine record and 41 records are from laura because laura is my subordinate so i can access my record along with laura's record and now let's switch to laura and try to try to see how many records we can access from if we logged in as laura so i switch to laura and let me try to log in so i log in as laura analytic studio and i switch to data set ops role and i can access only 41 records so owner dot name so you can see because laura garza is the La, uh, laura garza is the subordinate for me so uh, and uh, there is no subordinate for laura so there is no record uh, so only 41 records so laura can access only his records uh, sorry his only her record she she won't be able to access her subordinate because there is no subordinate for her so this is how we can apply a security predicate this is how we can apply a security predicate for uh, row level row level and on basically on hierarchy level and on own record ownership 
so let me try to log in again and let me show you the code so let me switch to analytic studio and switch to data manager and in data manager when i switch to data flow view we can see so here what i have done first of all let me explain it to you what i have done first of all what we did we extracted the user roles based on the couple of fields id last modified and parent role id parent role id portal account id portal type and so on then we extract the user details with id uh, i these are the fields these are the fields we have extracted then we flatten it basically we flatten the user roles flatten is basically to create a role path flatten helps flatten helps helps us in setting up a setting up a role path a hierarchy path automatically then we augment the flatten user role with extract user and we augment the opportunity with the augment user flatten so it automatically creates a hierarchy and finally we register it now i switch to data set ops role and let's look at the value tables so when we switch to value tables we can add more fields so i just add all the fields and uh, So we added these other fields. So now here we can see the fields we have: stage, opportunity ID, owner ID is this, and owner name is Laura Gaza. So based on that, the record will be appear. Based on that, the record is come. So this is how we apply a role level security based on role hierarchy and record ownership. So this kind of scenario will be very useful in large and in large organization. Where the where we have multi level of hierarchy and where we would where, and we would be able to give permissions to the users to access their own records or their subordinate records. So that's all in this video. I hope this give you a meaningful information. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.